morning. We're still coming live to you from uh, Dr. Petrus. Good morning. We're still coming live to you from Dr. Petrus Mulemela Stadium here in Bloemfontein. What you are seeing now are three eggs. Um, this is one of the creative directors who said that we must try and make sure that you see this. It's actually on a long distance pitch. Uh, three eggs of uh, one of the one of the crew members was saying it's a kivet bird. The eggs from a kivet bird. Um, the bird, um, quite essentially, it's quite clear that the bird is a bit in distress. I wonder if uh, we can try and see whether we can get a view of the bird so that we ask our viewers whether they know what type of bird this is and uh, whether this bird would actually survive today because thousands of people are expected to make their way to the stadium as we celebrate um, as we celebrate the Freedom Day where President Cyril Ramaphosa will be delivering the keynote address. There it is. It is a grey and black bird uh, with uh, white spots as well. Um, someone was telling me that it's called a kivet bird. I don't know whether that's the English name for, for the bird but um, if you're watching from home and do know what type of bird this is, please do share that with us so you can tweet that to us as well. Oh, well, right now, that's in the Director General of um, the Department of Arts and Culture joins us now. Dr. Fusi, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Bob Fusi, thank thanks so much for joining us this morning. Let's just quickly speak about today's event and quite pertinent is um, the theme as well that looks into social economy as well. Yes, good morning and good morning to your viewers. Um, yes, we today celebrating the 24th um, Freedom Day. And we are excited about that because it coincides with the view of government approach to taking the greater strides towards full realization of our liberation and our freedom. And that's why the theme, as you said, it's quite appropriate because it talks to full realization, the year of Nelson Mandela um, as it turns, um, as it's his centenary. But also then it says towards full. Uh, towards the realization of full uh, freedom uh, through the realization of our radical social economic transformation. Now that is because as we enter into the stage where freedom for political purposes and voting only is inadequate, clearly you need uh, our people to be both free and liberated. And that means you must then provide um, the country with an opportunity to reflect where we have gone um, so far in building this new nation, this free nation that was never there before. Because in the past, you'll remember, we were just cut out um, regarded as tribal uh, enclaves. Now we are building a nation um, that must be very, very cohesive, but very progressive. So Freedom Day, uh, 27th of April, if you look at the date itself, also reminds us about the 27 years, the longest spent in jail, in fight for realization of this freedom. Mm. And then it coincides also with the day in which we voted. So we are um, hoping that South Africans will take and use this day and this opportunity as a moment of reflection. I think quite important as well um, is that um, something that the minister has been stressing about, and this, of course, the issue around social cohesion, but um, the racism that the country still experience. And I know that the, the department has been busy with this bill that um, seeks to criminalize this. Mm. No, the, that is a Department of Justice who are dealing with uh, the issue of hate crimes bill. Um, on our side, we're working with them, but the main essence is that um, we need to change the mindset because it is about what people think. They inherited this uh, uh, unfortunate uh, value of hate, value of segregation, the value of apartheid. So they still reminisce that if they we didn't have this freedom, they think they'll be better. And that is why the minister, Minister Mteto, emphasizes the need to liberate everybody to liberate every citizen in this country and to, to make sure that social cohesion and nation building is not only for those who are oppressed, but clearly, as they, there is a say, that says if you want to keep a man in the mud, you must also stay in the mud. Now, that means those who, are, who were the oppressors, if they still continue to hate, to harbor racism, then they are themselves victims. And then we must make sure that they are liberated. So we must build this social cohesion in that context that everybody in South Africa must enjoy equality and all the rights that uh, 
we fought for. Well, DG, thank you so much for your time. There's certainly a lot of issues that we need to discuss when it comes to the issues around um, Freedom Day as well as how we made it all the way up to the 27th of April 1994 where thousands of people were um, queuing up to cast their ballot and for the first time celebrating what it means to be a South African who is equal to their white counterparts as well. Let's quickly go to Valen who's standing by um, with the sports update.